Esfier Irina Popolevsky, and I am a licensed realtor. And that's my career and that's how I make a living. So in short, a realtor is a licensed individual who has obtained a license through the Department of State that is allowing me to help people uh, buy and sell their properties. So just to give you an idea, to become a licensed realtor doesn't really take much. What I mean by that is there's no years of college and education that you need to take. However, it requires you to take a 75 hour course and requires you to pass two licensing exams. One would be the school exam. The other one would be the state exam. Now, in order to get your license, you have to complete the entire 75 hour course. You have to pass both tests and you uh, have to apply for your license. So there's a few stages. You become a real estate agent first, and then after you're a real estate agent for the first two years, you're able then to go for more school and do more tests, and then you can become a broker. So um, it's very cheap initially to, to get into the real estate business but it can get very expensive if you don't become successful. Now, as a realtor, we are uh, considered to be independent contractors. So we're not classified as employees, we're classified as independent contractors. And what that really means is that we are responsible to generate our own business and find our own work. Now, how do we do that? Um, the first thing that is the, the, the main part of generating our own business is marketing and prospecting. So we have to constantly market uh, in different kind of ways in order to be able to generate business. So um, one way is calling everybody we know and letting them know family, friends, acquaintances, um, anyone we know and um, let them know that we're a realtor looking to buy or sell a house. So what do we do? Um, what we do is we are now able to utilize social media like YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram, LinkedIn, and all of these avenues. And what we do is we in invest our time into providing useful information to the consumers um, and showing our knowledge and experience in the market and attracting clientele this way. So that's kind of giving you an idea of how to, how to go about generating your own business and making sure that you are making a living for yourself. Now, the key point to remember is what's so exciting about this whole thing? Well, to me is my excitement about being a realtor is that I personally involved in people's lives. I make a difference. And that's so important to me on a day to day because it gets me excited. It gets my adrenaline going to be able to help families to uh, move, to find a home, to build their, to build their future. And, and stuff like that. And uh, I don't believe there's any career that allows you to be a part of everybody's life and, and, and creating a home for themselves. So um, one thing that I, that I could tell you guys is that whatever you decide to do with your life in the future, please make sure that you really, really, re really love what you do and excited about what you do. That's the only way you're really gonna be successful. So if you wanna be a police officer, be it. If you wanna be a painter, be it. If you wanna be a musician, be it. If you wanna be a doctor, be it. If you wanna be a computer nerd and a computer techie person, be it. Just make sure that you really love and enjoy what you do. So. Um, a, a realtor's day could be very different every day, but
But the important part to remember is that in order to run a business successfully, we have to have a um, specific to-do list on a daily basis that we will follow to make sure that we don't fall behind and we're always moving forward. So a typical day could be many things. So in the morning, I'll tell you about my day. In the morning, I always sit in my computer, check all my emails, reply to everybody, check my text messages, my voicemails, see if any new leads came in. And um, then, then what I do is I, uh, if I have an appointment, like today, today is a very exciting day for me. So everybody knows about COVID-19 and everybody knows that we're really not, we're supposed to be social distancing. So we are not allowed to really interact with people and walk into people's houses that that's what we do as realtors so today i'm very excited because i have my homeowners who i'm selling their property and in order to allow potential interested buyers to actually view the house without actually going in there i have invested in a camera that is it's going to take a 360 degree tour what that means is it's going to be able to show the floors the, the ceilings the walls everything it comes with a tripod that extends and it comes and it comes with a um a computer program that allows me to put all of that together so today i'm going to take you with me to show you how it's done. All right, gang, let's go for a ride. See you there. In the place that I'm gonna do a video on, this is the camera, it does the 360 view. And I have a lovely lady here with me, Aida. She's also a realtor and she's helping me shoot this. So uh, I will go inside and I will make my shoot and I'll talk to you again. So this is how I would show, or how, how you would show as a realtor in an apartment. You walk through the door, obviously, you bring your clients in. Sorry, I'm wearing a mask, but those are the rules. So you would point out the obvious, or I should say you would point out the not obvious. So you don't want to walk around and say, this is the kitchen, because it looks like a kitchen. But you would say, how beautiful is this kitchen? It's got a new refrigerator. It's got a new stove, has a granite countertop. Look at the beautiful floors. They're hardwood floors. Now I'm excited to show you this beautiful bathroom because I'm really in love with it. So I would point out, look how gorgeous it looks. And it doesn't have a tub, which is a plus. For me at least. And then you'll have your clients follow you around or you would leave them first. And you would... Continue to show them the tour, explain to them or show them the access to whatever is available at the bathroom right here. It's a beautiful view. It's fully renovated. And you would not rush your clients. You would let them get a feel. If they express any interest that they're somehow interested, what you would do is you would suggest to them, I suggest to them, let's go take another look and walk around again so you get a better look the second time. Okay? <laughs>